Hi, I'm Mo, and for Philly Changer Chats today, we have Maude Lyon from the Col Greater Philadelphia Cultural Alliance. Um, Maude is the new president, and uh, welcome to the city. Thank you. Um, so you have a very extensive background, I read like 30 years of working in like this kind of arts and culture sector? Right, I've worked in a lot of different arts and culture. I actually started in history museums, and uh, I've been in Detroit for the last 27 years, and before that I was in New Orleans for seven years, mm -hmm. and before that I was in Des Moines, and I grew up in upstate New York. But I've worked in arts wow. and culture in all of those places. And in Detroit, I ran the Detroit Historical Museum for a while, and the, in 2001 the city had a tricentennial, mm -hmm. and so I ran that. So I can honestly say I can throw parties for two million people. Oh, I and, love it. Uh, <laughs> the, the, and we also did a wonderful legacy project, a pocket park in downtown Detroit that's since been kind of the epicenter of a lot of Detroit's downtown resurgence, which is really terrific. So I've really seen how arts and culture can have a real impact in changing communities, in bringing people together, and just doing a lot of really great art. Yeah, it's been really kind of interesting to see kind of how that arts and culture scene has been developing in Detroit and kind of like seeing how, uh, you know, like Philadelphia has had, I think, like a lot of like really good kind of movement lately. Um, what do you see as kind of um, your mission for your new reign as president? Well, it, it, well, first of all, the, the Cultural Alliance has existed for over 40 years. So this is an organization that's been working in Philadelphia for a very long time to help nonprofits to thrive and be sustainable, help the community to connect to really wonderful arts and culture. Mm -hmm. We really do uh, three main things. You know, we do advocacy that tries to create the conditions that create frankly, the funding base that helps arts and culture to, to thrive. Mm -hmm. um, we do a lot of audience engagement work that is both uh, ways like our Fully Fun Guide and, and Fun Pass, uh, uh, Fun Savers, that, uh, that, that gives people uh, ways to engage and find out what's going on. But we also work with organizations to help them understand how they can reach out to new audiences, younger audiences, different audiences, you know, how, how they can really broaden their focus as well, because it's a two-way street. It's not just who yeah. attends, it's how you program. So we do that, and then the third thing we do is we do programs that help organizations individually to be better, you know, that so that they can be up to date on the latest research, manage their own affairs well, think strategically about where their organization should go to achieve their unique mission, and so we're kind of the wind under their wings. I love that. Uh it's very important, I think, to, you know, it, it's very easy for different kinds of sectors to be in their own, like, little silos. And even within those, right. you know, there's fine arts, there's, like, uh, performance arts. Um, and I think that the Cultural Alliance does a very good job of kind of, like, unifying that and kind of bolstering like, you know, everybody's sales at the, at the same time. Well, and one thing that attracted me to Philadelphia is that the cultural community here also includes science and history and horticulture. And, uh, you know, it's, it's a, lo a lot of community-based arts education. Mm -hmm. I mean, so many different ways that we use, you know, culture and, you know, I mean, uh, very often people just say arts as a shorthand, mm -hmm. but it really is a lot broader than that in the, the way that, that we use it. Yeah, um, at Generosity, we've actually had a, a pretty good relationship with you guys in kind of like helping to kind of keep the conversations going yeah. and, and, and yeah. stuff like that. Um, do you, uh, uh, how do you think that like those conversations can kind of help um, with, diff with other sectors and kind of uh, in, in growing the arts community? Uh, I think, well, that's an interesting. I mean, growing the arts community mm -hmm. is not just a matter of having more or bigger. It's also growing in sophistication. It's like all things. I mean, with the use of new technology and other things, the way people relate to each other, the way we talk about issues, the, the, the whole way we, we organize our lives is so different than mm -hmm. it was even just Absolutely. a few years ago. Yeah. So I think we're all figuring that out. Mm -hmm. So I think growing is also figuring out how to use those tools, how to, you know, use that. I mean, like there's a lot more media arts, for example, than there used mm -hmm. to be because there's all this great stuff you can do. <laughs> and uh, the, the, uh, and so, so it's, it's a wonderful process of, of discovery. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, the, so what we try to do at the, the Cultural Alliance is to, to, to w we do a lot of research that you know, goes out there and says, you know, here's what's happening in the world, here are trends in audiences, here's trends in funding, here's what the, you know, the budgets of, we work a lot with nonprofits, so here's the, the, what, what they're looking like, mm -hmm. um, so that 
individual organizations or artists can put their work in context and understand the larger picture of which they're part. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and so having those kind of conversations is really helpful. We, we also do a lot of connecting of people, of putting together, oh, you do this, they do that, you guys ought to talk to each other, or convening people around certain issues. And I know that sounds all kind of like vague and, you know, but, but it really uh, gets down to how do we get conversations going that lead to new ways of doing things. Yeah, and you know what, uh, we have already created like different ways for people to digitally connect and uh, we'll, we'll share all of that online um, when we when we publish this video. So uh, yeah, it's really exciting to see how we can use like new technologies to kind of move everybody forward that way. So great, I think that's all of our time. That went by so quick. It did. <laughs> uh, so well, thank you so much, Maude, for coming. It was great to have you. Um, and then we'll share more information about what Phil, the Cultural Alliance is doing. My pleasure. Great. Awesome. Thank you.